All right, so now let's take a look at the next question, and that is question eight. So for any vectors u and v in v3, or the set of all points in three dimensions, and any scalar k, or just any real number like that, uh, and, uh, and we're given this statement, k times u dot v equals to k times u, and then put that in a bracket, and then dot v. And uh, this is actually, uh, yeah, the solution is, uh, this is actually true because this is just basic dot product, which is uh, when you multiply the components and add them up, and the k, you could just uh, put that in there just using the basic multiplication properties. And uh, so let's go over uh, the solution here. So this is true and is a basic or arithme uh, arithmetic or arithmetic multiplication property of the dot product. And uh, yeah, here's the thumbnail to my earlier video on the properties of the dot product. And that's just this one right here. So if you have a scalar C time, uh, times it by A dot B vectors, uh, this is the same thing as you could put the C inside A, like in this one here, or you could put the C inside uh, inside B, like in this one here. So it's the same thing. And uh, we can see this is, this is the case. Uh, we'll just take a, a quick example. Let's say we have uh, U vector equals to uh, U1, U2, and uh, let's say we have v vector is equal to uh, v1 and v2. And uh, yeah, here I just put the, the uh, uh, word if. So yeah, so if we have this right here, then let's take the dot product with the scalar k. So let's write this one out, k times u dot v. So k u dot v, like that, this equals two. Yeah, we'll just keep the k out of there for now. And now we we'll take the dot product and then we just multiply the components u1 times v1 uh, plus u2 times v2. So this is gonna equal to u1 v1 plus u2 v2, like that. And now we can just multiply this inside. Uh, we'll multiply this inside, uh, yeah, both of these, but we'll separate them into the u's. And this is basic multiplication uh, property. So we can go this equals to k uh, times u, like this, and then times by v, like that, plus a k times u2 times v2, uh, like that. So all we did was move it in there like that. Yeah, so, so we have, I'll, I'll move this over, so I'll take this. And I'll move it over right here. And yeah, so what this looks like is, well, this is just a uh, dot product now where k and then uh, times by u, u uh, vector. So the exact same thing, uh, but now we can put those in together. This is the same thing as writing k u vector dot. Now we have the v uh, vector. So now the, the components, yeah, so the, now the components of this vector right here is just k uh, u1 and k u2. Yeah, so this is true. And this is exactly uh, what Rast is solved there, ku dot v. And also, uh, and note, yeah, note that this this uh, value right here, uh, scalar times by the vector, uh, this just equals two well, in component form. Now it's going to equal to ku1, ku2. So that's all it is. Yeah, so then basically you're doing dot product with these components as opposed to just u1 by itself. And also, again, uh, just because it's basic multiplication, uh, you could also take this out as well. This is going to equal to k u1 u2 scalar out like that. So yeah, there's many ways of re rewriting it. All right, so now let's take a look at question nine. And this one asks for any or states for any vectors u and v in v3 or the set of all points in three dimensions and any scalar k, uh, we're giving this, given this statement k times u cross v equals to k uh, times u, and then bracket, and then cross v. So basically it's saying, it's the same, same thing as a dot product, uh, and uh, we're asked that if you have a scalar, multiply that inside, can we multiply in, it, it inside the cross product for each term separately, and then do the cross product. And the solution is, well, this is true, and again, this is, a, this is true, and, and is a, yeah, and is a basic uh, arithmetic uh, arith yeah, arithmetic multiplication property of the cross product. And again, exactly like the dot product, you can just multiply in that scalar, or you could factor it out, etc. So if you have uh, this right here, here's the link to my early video on the screenshot. Uh, I'll just a thumbnail of it. So uh, if you have scalar C times A cross B, you can move this uh, C anywhere you want inside. You can go CA or you can go over in, in this one here. So this is from earlier. 
video and we can see this is the case we'll just uh go over this right now just uh for you know just for review purposes so if we have a k so let's say we have k scalar and then we have u cross uh, v like this so let's just use our de uh, determinant form setup so we have uh, i component uh, j is the uh, y component this is the z component k like that of the vector still so it's not the same thing as a scalar okay so let's say we have u1 these are the components of the uh, uh vector u and then the v v components v1 v2 v3 so now taking the cross product remember the the shortcut cross product you just cross it like this and this so now you multiply this and this and then this and this like that or subtract by that so but first we got we have a k there so and we also need to put the k here so we forgot to put the k here. So k times this whole cross product. So we're gonna have a k times it by in a big bracket like that. Oh yeah, I'll just put a yeah, bracket like that. Now we're gonna have uh u two v three minus u three v two, and this is gonna be the i component. And now the next one is gonna be a, a, yeah it's the same thing. Cross this out, cross the center, and now this one and this we're gonna subtract. Multiply that and then subtract by u3 uh, v1. But this one is going to be a minus. And then we're going to go a uh, u1 v3 uh, and then minus yeah, u, u1 v3 minus u3 v1. Like that. And this is going to be a j. And then the next setup, uh, we cross out the last one here. Now we do uh, multiply these, subtract it, um, uh, or not, then subtract this one from the first one. Uh, first uh, multiplication. Okay, so this is going to be now plus uh, plus u1 bracket u1 v2 minus u2 v1. And this is going to be k like that. And uh, that, yeah, we're, we're going to, yeah, that's it. We just put a giant bracket like that. And uh, now what we could do is, well, we can just multiply this inside uh, everywhere. So just multiply it inside everywhere and here as well and also uh factored out just uh, just again basic multiplication we'll factor all, all out uh, so that it's uh we have the bracket uh k and the u u the components of the u right here of the u vector like this one here so we'll do that and so it's the exact same thing we're going to end up uh this equals two and this is going to be i'll put a uh, bracket like this this is going to be u okay u2 v3 minus and then when you multiply this inside right here well it's a bracket so you just multiply and uh, all over it so there as well so i'll just erase all these arrows a bit confusing uh or just a bit messy so then you're gonna multiply that inside this is going to equal to now k u3 v2 this is the i component the next one's going to be minus and this is going to be minus now uh, so we're only focusing on the u component. So this is going to be uh, k u one v three like that, and then minus that. That's this part right here. U uh, another k right here. So that's this one right here. This is going to be k u three v one, and then the bracket. This is going to be the uh, the j component, and lastly plus. Uh, this is going to be, and I'll move this away from the equal sign. Whoops, I'll move this away from the equal sign. So like that, yeah. So that's equal. Then there's minus plus, and then lastly, this one right here, u1, u2. There, those get our k component uh, or, or k scale or k u1 uh, bracket v2 minus k u2 and then v1 like that and yeah this is going to be now uh we oh we are yeah this whole bracket uh this is going to be now this is a bracket and this is the k component of the z component and uh yeah now what we have is well we just have the we just have the cross product but now all the components of u are replaced with uh u times that uh, the scalar so the scalar k and then there's one here so every single one all we do is replace it so in other words this is equals to write it in, in the determinant form as well this equals to now i, j, and k, like that. 
this equals to the, the components now the cage the this goes inside this one so k u1 and then this is going to be k or i actually don't even need the bracket i'll just put k u1 k u2 and then k u3 and then this one's going to be well a v1 and you can multiply uh, inside the v, uh, v's instead if you want so it doesn't again it doesn't matter which one you use so in other words this is equals to k u uh, vector cross uh, v cross v vector so yeah this is exactly what we asked to solve and it's what we got so check and uh, yeah we could scroll back over here so again that's what we're asked and it's exactly the same thing so i just wanted to do that exercise there even though i did in my earlier video or something like this uh, but i just wanted to go over that to show you it is the case